Welcome to Zapitalism, the business simulation game. Zapitalism is being used by high schools, middle schools, and colleges all over the world to teach business math, economics, social studies, and entrepreneurship. Let me give you a quick tour through Zapitalism. The first thing you'll notice is that this is a multiplayer game. Students can either play alone or play with up to five other students. In addition, Zapitalism gives students a choice of the type of company they want to run, each with its own advantages. You will notice that we took a great deal of time and care not to make a boring business simulation game. This game is full of graphics and animation and storytelling and interactivity because it's our firm belief that students learn more and absorb the material better if they are fully engaged. The first thing I'll show you is the Royal Wholesaler. This is where the students go to actually buy products that they want to stock in their retail store. Products are of all types. There's everything from bull fur to eye caps to nostril stuffing. And each of these products, although humorous, also has key economic data. For example, the units for sale, the cost per unit, the estimated net profit per unit, the total demand, and they're all reflected nicely in little charts so that the students can, at a glance, understand the, the potential of each product and make key buying decisions that will, that will affect how their company grows. Students are also given other choices to make in the game. They can invest in their store image. They can put money into maintenance. They can put money into public service, which actually builds goodwill within the community. Students can also take money that they're earning and invest in advertising and marketing so that they can build their brand and draw customers into their store. As the students progress in the game, they can actually expand their stores, buying, building larger stores and having more shelf space and, and trying to corner the market on certain products. The game also has taxes. Even in a game, the students will have to learn to pay taxes or else risk being audited. The students can take out a loan from the loan office to actually grow their business, but they have to be careful because there's interest they must pay every week on that loan. The students have to nurture their employees and they do this through setting a salary. The students also deal with the stock market. So they can buy and sell shares in an, index, an indexed market across the, the archipelago. And this is a great way for them to invest their surplus capital. In addition, the students have a chance to buy insurance. This can protect them against fires and floods and earthquakes and all sorts of things that can disrupt their business. One of the things we took great time and care to do is to create a rich world within the business simulation environment. Students can actually explore the world. There are dozens of different places the students can go. They can visit different islands like the Magma Zone that, and that can affect the type of products they're buying. They can go to the Mount Bulbous, which is a fun casino. They can visit Outer Reboundrum, which is a wild and wooly adventurous place. And they can visit Myrmidan, which is a lost city below below the surface of the sea. As you explore Zapitalism, you will discover that there's a very rich gameplay experience wedded with serious business math and economics. I encourage you to go try the free online demo and test it out and see if it's suitable for your classroom.